So when I was little, my mom used to make something called a toad in the hole for breakfast. I think it's an English thing, but I'm not sure. The nice thing is that it gets both the carbohydrate and the protein from the egg into one piece. You slice a piece of bread, and you can use any kind of whole grain bread, and then you kind of want to make a well in the middle. So you want to cut out a piece of this bread, and you can save that because they'll actually eat that as well. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fry it with some egg in the middle. Let that get nice and hot. Not too hot because we don't want to burn the butter. That's the key. And I'm just turning this down to medium. But you know what? You really can't go wrong with this. It's always a bit of a work in progress and it never turns out perfect. So that's fine. So you're going to take your nice piece of bread that you've cut the hole in and you're going to just put it in there and it's sort of toasting the bread in the butter at the same time. And then we're going to get our nice ideally farmers market eggs. But if you don't if you can't get farmers market eggs, just try and buy, you know, natural organic or cage-free eggs. And then when this gets nice and hot, we're going to crack the egg into that hole, but it won't all fit. Some of it's going to spill over the top, and that's okay. What's this? An egg. An egg. Let me get it. You want to crack it in that hole and make a toad in the hole? Here, look. I'm going to break the yolk just so that it's easier to get it cooked a little bit through because you don't want to give a young child a really runny yolk just in case there's some bacteria in the egg. Mm-hmm. And what about some? What's this? and then we're going to wait. You can tell he's been doing this with me a lot. He's my sous chef. <laughs> it goes nicely with some fresh fruit or a smoothie or something like that. You've got all three things in the meal, the fruit and veg, the carb, and the, the protein. And this is a nice warm breakfast for them on a cold day when they're getting ready for school. So I'm going to flip it. I'm just waiting to see that it kind of starts to get a little bit white underneath. You can kind of almost smell when you smell like the smell of bread toasting. And this is never neat, guys. This is always a bit of a mess. See how it kind of came out the one side? So you can just help it to form the shape of the bread again. If your yolk leaks out, that's totally fine. And now you can even throw in the little square bit that you cut out and let that toast a bit too. You know, a little bit of real butter is much better for children than a lot of artificial fat like margarine. So rather use a tiny bit of real butter and make them a nice tasting egg, and then they'll feel satisfied. You'll feel satisfied if you have this for breakfast too, and then you're good to go until lunchtime. Now, I'm gonna just slide everything off. Ta-da! You can break. You ready to eat? Mommy. I'm gonna cut it up for you, okay? You can break. Let's Mommy. go over here. My milk. You drink your milk. Big one. Oh, yeah. Delicious.